I'm going to teach you what acorn squash is and how to make it. Please enjoy! Hi everyone! This is an acorn squash. I am going to use it to make a recipe. Native Americans ate both summer and winter squashes. This recipe calls for an acorn squash, which is a type of winter squash. Winter squashes have a hard shell and thick skin. A winter squash can be stored the whole winter without going bad. Native Americans could eat them in the winter time when nothing else was growing. Such tribes as the Cherokee, Apache, Navajo, and Sioux farm squash. Squash was a very important crop for the Native Americans, known as one of the three sisters. The other two were corn and beans. Here are the ingredients for acorn squash. They include acorn squash, maple syrup, walnuts, and raspberries and blueberries. Lots of Native Americans in North America did a lot of gathering to get food. That means they collected berries, nuts, seeds, and roots to eat. In this recipe, I am using walnuts and berries, just like traditional Native Americans would. Some tribes, like the Shawnee, had access to maple syrup. Maple syrup was typically more common in the northern and northeastern parts of America where the maple trees grew and the weather was cooler. Step 1. Cut the squash in half. Step 2. Remove the seeds. Step 3. Put the halves face down in a pan. And then it goes in the oven. Before you put the squash in the oven, remember to preheat the oven to 400 degrees before baking it. Now the squashes are out of the oven. Mmm, it smells so sweet, like fresh baked cookies. Now I will divide two tablespoons of maple syrup, two tablespoons of walnuts, and the berries among the two halves. Then I can eat this yummy acorn squash recipe. Now I am adding some walnuts to my squashes and berries and a tablespoon of maple syrup to add lots of flavor. Now I'm going to try my acorn squash. It's so yummy. I love it. It tastes very flavorful. Bye. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed watching my video on acorn squash from Reese.